Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy. If you're new here, I upload every Sunday evening. So have a little look down through my videos and if you like what you see, I'd love if you would subscribe and become part of the family that I'm trying to grow. So today I am doing a really, really quick makeup look for work basically. I spend a lot of time in my car. I'm a commuter. I commute from outside Dublin into Dublin. I would spend definitely minimum an hour in the car in the morning and of that hour there's probably 20 minutes where I'm stopped. So I do my makeup in my car. Just a disclaimer before people start getting excited about safe driving and la la la. la I do my makeup when my car is stopped when I am not driving. So if you would like to see what I do in my car for my makeup on a normal work day, then just keep watching. So I guess first off, you're probably looking at me going, hmm, Amy, we have seen your makeup collection. How do you get that all to your car? I don't. I have a select few products that I use and I keep them in my bag. So this is a bag that I picked up. This was the bag that had all that controversy there last year that like Joanne Larby brought one out, Luna by Lisa brought one out and then of course, Penny's just like brought one out for a fraction of the price. And this is my one here. It's just looks like this. And I have to say, I am like, I've had my fair share of makeup bags in the past. This is incredible. The amount of stuff you can fit into this. And it just turns out to be like a little package. It's not like a big, huge case of makeup. You would be surprised how much makeup you would fit in one of these. And what I like about this in particular is that you open it up you pull out your drawstrings and you can flatten it completely and I basically flatten it on my passenger seat of my car and I've everything there I'm not fumbling and you know trying to find things in a big bag everything is pretty much laid out um again my drive to work is pretty much a straight road it's not like it's crazy country roads that you're going around bends and things are falling over and whatnot it's like motorway driving 90% of the way so that works for me it might not work for you but it works for me. I had a migraine at the start of the week and um, you'll probably notice that from my lovely black circles that migraines always give me. Um, so I popped on a little bit of tan and I'm really happy with it. So for that reason I'm going to be mixing a couple of foundations today. Um, you all know how much I absolutely love, love, love this foundation. It's so perfect for, for the middle of the week, for your work week. And I just find it stays on my skin. So I'm going to use that today and I'm going to pop it on with a little bit of the Steel Stay All Day foundation. Okay, so that's my foundation down. During the week, depending on how I'm feeling, I don't normally wear concealer under my eyes. I always find that if you have a good enough coverage foundation, then that will double up for your concealer under your eyes as well. However, today I'm in need of some brightness. So I'm definitely gonna pop on a little bit of my Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. It just gives lovely kind of luminosity under the eyes, particularly on days where you need it. For me as well, my dark circles kind of extend up to here. <laughs> so I always bring my concealer up to the sides of my eyes, kind of like there as well. And also, if I'm in the car and I am putting on some concealer, I'll just throw it onto my eyelids to act as my eyeshadow primer. So I'm kind of like doubling up, saving time, because that's what it's all about in the morning. So then I jump onto my eyebrows. Again, my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And I'm using my brush then that goes with that. It's the number 14 with a really stiff brush. You've seen me use this loads of times. With me, with my brows, they're a freaking disaster and they drive me crazy every single day because as you'll see, so I have nothing on my brows right now, they naturally sit completely arseways. Yeah, this one always sits higher, just naturally. So even though I look like I've done my eyebrows wrong or you know I'm filling them in incorrectly <laughs> that's just how they naturally sit so when I follow the natural hair and the natural colour it goes crooked because they are crooked. I've tried so much to get them the same and it never ever works for me. So this sits higher, this sits lower, this spikes up, this goes like normal, it's just an absolute killer. So do you know what? I just work with it. So what I've started to do with my Anastasia dip brow is I used to like dig into it and then throw it onto my brow and just found that I had way too much product. So now I take some product from the pot and I pop it onto the lid of the actual 
product and I just find then you get to kind of coat your brush in it and you get to leave off any excess product as well so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fill in my brows so that's the brows so then I'm gonna go in with my powder so powder in the car can be a little bit tricky so I definitely would recommend something like your Rimmel Stay Matte, like a pressed powder, but I use my Piazza because I just love it. I love it so much. I do use a powder puff because I do think that that helps me control the powder in the car. I'm just gonna powder the areas that I know my foundation breaks down first. My T-zone usually. So that's kind of my translucent powder down. And now I'm gonna go in with some blush. And of course, I don't go anywhere without my butter bronzer from Physicians Formula and I pop that on with a big huge Real Techniques brush. Oh, you know how much I love this. I'm not gonna go on about it. So that is our bronzer down. So that alone you can kind of see. If you just wanted to go from here and just throw on a little bit of like light eyeshadow and mascara, you're good to go. You know, you're made up, you're, you have a nice color in your face, your eyebrows are defined. I think you're ready to rock. But. I never stop there. There are two eyeshadow palettes that I keep in my little Penny's car makeup bag and which one of them I use depends usually on my mood. So if I want to just go for something like, oh, I just couldn't be bothered, just throw on a really, really nude eye or whatever else, I go for my Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. Again, you've seen this, you've heard me talk about it. It's fabulous and it's so handy, so versatile. And yeah, I love it. But I'm feeling a bit more adventurous and Go a little bit heavier on the eyes i use my revolution palette so this one here the reason i use this as opposed to the likes of the kaylee palette or the jacqueline hill palette is because these eyeshadows are so pigmented that you don't need to build them up you can use them very very quick and you can get an eye look very quick out of them which is why they're in my morning routine i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go off camera i'm gonna pop on my eyeshadow and i'll come back to you in a few minutes okay so that's my eyeshadow down so the next thing then is eyeliner and mascara. If you struggle to put on liquid eyeliner, you need to get this. This is the Essence Liquid Eyeliner. It's the liquid ink and it is amazing. There is something about this brush that makes it just glide over your eye. Like it almost doesn't need to be told what to do. That sounds insane i know it does i don't know it just oh i just think it's fabulous and it's so so easy to use so i'm gonna pop that on now so next moving on to mascaras and lipstick so mascara and lipstick is something that i have on my person at every time of the day i just it's like my little security thing i don't know i just always have them so this is my makeup bag for my little hello kitty um this is so old actually um my little makeup bag for my handbag and in this i have my little miniature benefit mascaras and all of my lipsticks that i use regularly and lip liners and that as well so normally what i would do in the morning is i would use a combination of the Bad Gal Bang Mascara, I've spoken about this before on my channel, you've heard about it, I love this, this is the miniature version, um, brilliant idea if you want to see if you like a mascara, and it's a really, really good mascara. I also then use my roller lash, I kind of use a combination of both of those, um, it's an expensive combination, I won't lie, but I have them and they work, and that's what I'm using at the moment. Um, they don't flake, this is kind of, I would say, it's not waterproof, but it's definitely smudge proof. Okay, finally, we are on to lips. Lips is just one of my favorite things. So again, one of the things I have on my person at every time of the day is my Burt's Bees lip balm. If you've seen my previous video and I don't even know what it was on, but you'll know that my friend Mary introduced me to Burt's Bees a couple of years ago and I can't live without these. I just can't, like, these are the best, best, best lip balms ever. So normally, when I'm leaving the house, I would put this on my lips just so they're nice and soft and then I put all my makeup and whatever else and then I'd come along and I know this looks like a waste but it's not because it's gonna like you'll see you'll see so I'm just gonna rub that into my lips rub that into my lips and then come along with a tissue and just tissue it off and it just takes off any foundation that kind of got in around your lips 
when you put it on. And then I think you have a lovely canvas ready to rock for your lipstick. I always have my breakfast in work. So I don't go like full glam crazy with the lips until maybe after my breakfast. This is a lipstick that I have definitely talked crap about before and I feel kind of bad now because I'm using it a little bit. Um, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's a lovely lipstick and I have used quite a bit of it. Um, it doesn't last on me and I think that's what makes me use it throughout the day because I know that if I'm just going to run into a meeting or whatever else I'm just going to pop on some of this and it's fine and like yeah it'll be gone after an hour but I'm, I'm not too worried about it. It's crazy mental expensive and would I buy it again? Absolutely no. I would go back to my Rimmel 45 this one here I think they're like look this is totally gone but I think they're so so similar. Just the price is like this is was this 36 euro? Anyway, it's actually embarrassing how much I, I paid for it. Embarrassing. Um, and it's just fine. But you know how I feel about my MAC lipsticks. I absolutely love them. So if I'm going into work in the morning and I want my lips to be done, my combo is my Whirl Lip Liner. Literally just line my lips. And I've started to line my lips a little bit differently. Oh, I just after seeing some powder on my face. Is that there the whole time? I'm sorry if that was annoying to watch. Um, I literally just line the top bits here and kind of like the sides here. And then with this, because this is amazing, I do kind of fill in my lips a little bit with the color. And then my go-to lipsticks for during the week are Faux, my god, faux is amazing, and then blankety. So today I'm going to use faux because it is a nice kind of bit more of a pinky colour. I find that this has much, much, much better staying power than the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Love this so much. Sometimes I find that if I'm like, oh, I look really matte and I look really flat, I will go in with a little bit of a gloss. My NYX lingerie gloss in Honeymoon. So I'm going to pop that on over it. And that is that. That would be one of my go-to looks for work. That is my makeup in the car. Makeup in a rush. I don't even know what to call it yet. I really hope that you got some sort of something out of this. And I hope to see you in my next video. See you later.